วัสดีครับ I'm Point How to train and develop inner strength quite easily and quite quickly Here's how The next time you feel and experience a negative emotion or negative feeling such as feeling angry frustrated upset nervous anxious disappointed hurt or sad or whatever it may be stop what you're doing find a comfortable chair and sit in it sit in a safe room in a safe environment and just sort of train yourself to cope with the situation and tolerate the emotions the feelings try to observe the feelings in your body how does this experience this sadness this anger how does that translate into your physical feeling does your heart beat faster if you're feeling angry if you're feeling anxious does your stomach churn if you're upset or do you feel empty butterflies if you're nervous or anxious do you feel tense up if you're upset and angry do you feel that your knees are perhaps weak and your legs are shaky if you're feeling heartbroken or feeling disappointed And then try to observe yourself on a psychological level. Try to just watch the mental processes, watch the inner self-talk, the inner thought conversations that you have about the topic that you have with yourself about what's going on. Watch it, but don't get pulled into it. Into it. Watch it mindfully. You see, what you begin to realize is that, wait a minute. You get a frame of reference that wait a minute. Here I am sitting safe and sound in this room. In my case, I'm in a nice room with air conditioning to my right. It's nice and cold and cozy and comfy. But the feelings from this experience, from this negative emotions and feelings, well, okay, in one sense, they, it is uncomfortable. I would not prefer it, but it is just that. It's nothing more than some sense of discomfort. Because you train yourself to begin to recognize that, in one sense, that that negative emotion is self-created by the projections of your thoughts that translate into an emotion that translate into a physical feeling, and you come to realize that even though I'm feeling uncomfortable in my physical body and in my psychological and mental level, nonetheless, nonetheless, I am still safe here in the present. Here in this chair, here in this safe, cool, cold, comfortable room, you begin to realize that you are not your emotions and you are not your thoughts. You begin to realize that these emotions do not have the power to control or overpower you until you believe that it does, until you get pulled. Into and follow along with, or identify with those thought patterns that cause you to feel that way. You're beginning to train yourself to take back some control, some power, and you begin to feel more empowered. You begin to understand that these emotions are created by the mixture of your perception, your perspectives, your attitudes, how you see things, how you react to outer circumstances. Which is formulated by your thought patterns. It becomes a mental and psychological emotion. Then it becomes a physical feeling, and you begin to realize that if you create this, then therefore you also have the power to free yourself from this negative feeling. Take it step by step. Learning is a process. I give you this analogy, right? Imagine emotions and feelings to be the momentum in a speeding car. You're in a car. You're driving a car. That car is going forward. It's in gear four, maybe gear five, whatever, in a speed of 70 kilometers per hour, 80 kilometers per hour. The first step is you want to realize that you don't want to actually come to a stop immediately. You don't want to go into reverse immediately. That would actually be pretty bad. d o n t you agree? What you want to do is you want to first lower that speed. Lower it from 80 kilometers per hour to 70 to 60 to 50. In other words, take your foot off the gas pedal. In this analogy, watch your thoughts and mental processes, and take a step back. Get some sense of detachment from those thoughts. Just watch them mindfully, without being need, 
without needing to be pulled into it, without needing to identify with it. Eventually, you will come to a standstill, you will come to a halt, and you'll start, the car will be moving at zero kilometers per hour. You can now put it into P for park or N for neutral, and you now have perspective. You see, the mistake that we always or commonly make is when we feel negative, we want to change our emotions and feelings immediately. We want to stop that negative feeling immediately. And we argue with ourselves. We argue with the emotions. We try to use logic and reasoning or positive thinking to stop feeling negative. But you see, it never works because you cannot argue your way out of an emotion or feeling. You can only accept it until it loses its momentum and then you can do something about it. If you continue to do this practice, you will very quickly learn that the true person who is in control is you yourself, not the emotions, not the thoughts, not the feelings. In one sense, this is why meditation practice uh, is said to help produce self-awareness or help cultivate self-awareness and help cultivate inner strength. because. To practice this correctly means you have to learn to tolerate with some discomfort. You have to learn to cope with some sense of discomfort. And when you're able to do that, you're no longer going to be afraid of your emotions. You no longer run away from your emotions. You are willing to confront and accept them. Kindly, be compassionate to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Calm down those emotions. Calm down those feelings. Gain perspective. Take back control. Take back power. And this is how you train to develop inner strength quite easily through the next time you have a negative feeling. Sit and share, be present, watch yourself in your body, feel the sensations of the body, observe the mental thought conversations in the mind without being pulled into it, and you will gain perspective and take back control. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Sawadee so